All right, I'm here with York Head football coach Doug Pereira getting some work in here in July in the heat under the lights at CNU team camp. Also seeing the likes of Hickory and First Colonial and Highland Springs and some good competition as well. Um, coach, tell me about uh, how the offseason has gone for you. Your team has been back in the playoff mix. You had that one rocky year, but you guys are back to where you're one of the better teams in the Bay Rivers District and the 757. Right. Well, you know, there's been some transition this year. Uh, you know, my Right-hand man, uh, Creighton Nicomenius, is now the head coach of Bethel. And they're here, by the way. Uh, Well-deserved. He needs to be over there doing that with his uh, alma mater. So that's caused some change as far as how we're going about things, how we're running things. But we've got you know 22 seniors coming back this year. So we're, we're comfortable. Uh, we're experienced. These guys, a lot of them started as freshmen when we had that really rough season. And so, you know, they're, they're ready to go. Um, expectations are high within the program. Uh, the players, they, they, they expect big and great things this year. Uh, you know, playoff, uh, playoff teams we have to face are, are going to be pretty awesome down the road here. Um, Class three with what, Phoebus, Lafayette, Norcom, and others? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's crazy. But, you know, that, that doesn't even matter right now. We've got to take care of tomorrow. We've got to take care of the first scrimmage, second scrimmage, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and that's the approach we're trying to take as much as possible. Seeing you is a great opportunity for us to get a lot of work in, uh, start to see some of the guys that are stepping up that maybe we didn't realize would step up. And, you know, time for us to get some camaraderie going with the team. Let's hit on a couple of your seniors of that great group, uh, Jaden Flood Brown for you, and uh, Troy Cartwright, who had, I think, it was seven picks two years ago for you? Right, yeah. Troy is a playmaker. Uh, we'll start with him. You know, whatever position he's playing, he just makes plays. And uh, he's one of those guys with the balls in the air. Uh, he's, he's got a shot to come down with him every time. You know, he wants to have that ball coming to him. Uh, Jaden is just a solid all-around athlete. He can do a lot for us and will do a lot for us uh, in various ways this year. And, you know, the type of kid that um, I'll fuss at him for, for the way he just ran the football. He scored, you know, but I got to nitpick the little things uh, because in the playoffs we'll need it. But, it, you know, both of those guys are great kids, great players, love having them on the team. This team, for those that haven't watched your football before, how would you describe offensively what you're going to do, balance more run heavy, pass heavy, and then defensively, what's the identity of this group? Although you'll know more as we get closer to August sure. to kick off. So uh, defensively, I'll start. You know, we're a 3-4 base defense. We've been that way for a few years. I, I don't see that changing this year in any way. Um, we've been doing some good things with that defense over the years. Uh, offensively, there's going to be some transition. Uh, we're going more of a, a single wing look uh, with spread elements. Uh, things like that, and it will be power-based um, with the idea that we'll have the ability to spread out and run the option, run other stuff out of there. What's, uh, I just asked this to Coach Johnson at Highland Springs, and I'm sure you're running across this spot. What's different about this team as you go into this year from a year ago? I mean, all you guys are learning about your squad. You're finding out depth chart. This kid can do this, this kid can do this, and you'll know more as we get through August, but do you have an idea of what's different about this team? Um... Not a whole lot, just because of the fact it's the same guys we've had for so many years. Is that a good thing, though? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, that's the thing, is, is they, they know what's coming. They, they know what they need to do. Uh, this team, maybe they're different in terms of they know they can beat some of the big guys down the road. Uh, they, they feel like they can definitely do so. And so, you know, we got to stay healthy like everybody else. Um, if that happens and our guys continue to be bought in to the program and what we're doing, uh, the system, uh, we're going to be in good shape. Sure. And lastly, uh, points of emphasis you come out of this camp, seeing some quality competition. Um, your two scrimmages, I know one of them is Woodside, if I'm not mistaken, so that's a good team out of the peninsula. Right. Mm -hmm. Going yep. out from Class 6 to Class Absolutely. 5. Absolutely. You know, Woodside's a yearly thing with us. Been doing it for a while with them. Danny and I have a great time each year we do this. Uh, we always like scrimmage in Woodside because it's, it's that step up kind of a caliber feel and yet every year we play tight with them you know it's always a tight scrimmage with those guys so it'll be the same this year I think with them uh, you know the thing with camp that's great is we're starting to find those, those little needles in the haystack that we didn't realize we had um, I mean even tonight there's a couple of guys stepping up that you know we're like wow okay had no idea uh, that we had a, a shot with those guys so we're, we're, we're happy with that part uh, you know, we felt like we had to build a completely new defensive line. That's where we're completely, you know, ravished from last year. And yet, you know, after this, this three days, we're like, we might have guys. We might actually have guys we didn't realize we had. So, and that's a big plus with the line scrimmage. Huge football starts. Huge plus. Well, thank you so much. We'll be following the Falcons this year, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much, man. You bet. Good to see okay. you.